This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony and today is going to be very much a mismatch of lots of craziness. Today we're going to be reviewing mainly two products. We're going to be reviewing Strange Oblique by Mark Elsden, a new booklet uh, which is a follow-on to uh, Tequila Hustler. And then we're going to give a quick preview of the Memento Mori Dex by uh, Chris Ramsey. Uh, the all new th deck of cards which everyone seems to be going crazy about at the moment. So that's the Memento Mori. And then I'm going to talk you through lots of the coolest tricks that seem to be coming in at the moment. Uh, ones that we highly recommend very briefly and then boom we finish. That's it. It's magic as always. So. Um, yeah, on my way here this morning, I did pass something very interesting. I thought, ha ha. Uh, so here we go. This is a picture of somebody's poor car um, that she's got to wake up to this morning. I just just made me chuckle a little bit. But anyway, let's not uh, get waylaid. Let's get on with the review show. Today we're going to be reviewing Stranger Bleak by Mark Elsden. And we cannot cut to the trailer right now. Uh, there is no trailer for this booklet. Um, this is simply a booklet teaching you a routine. A mentalism routine, a mind reading routine. Something that is very, um, very strong, but also totally in, in, improv. Uh, you can do this anytime, anywhere, without any uh, gadgets, any gimmicks, any preparation whatsoever. All you need is five coins, that's it, five coins, which you can borrow, and five people, of course. So effectively, it's part of the, uh, as he mentions here, the propolis mentalism category. And um, in total, in this booklet, you're getting 16 pages. Now, 16 pages of what I would say is very, very high quality, um, magical and mentalism routining. Uh, if any of you have already got Tequila Hustler, then I will highly recommend it. Uh, if you've not seen it, get it right away. Tequila Hustler is an incredible um, which hand is the coin in uh, effect that you can do without any electronics, without any props or anything whatsoever. It's all done just by mind reading. Um, but it the way it works is just ingenious, quite simply. It is ingenious. It takes an effect, even you do not realise how it is actually working. That is how good it actually is. Unless you really analyse it, you can be doing this trick, the tequila hustler to people, and you just don't know why it works. It just works. And that's almost the same for this. Um, however, it's not exactly the same as Tequila Hustler. So um, to learn the new methods and the new teachings, I would highly recommend getting this book. Uh, it goes into a nice routine, which you can do on stage or in parlor with five people. And you have five coins, and one of those coins is the special coin, like the two pound coin. That means you have to be the truth teller. Whoever has the, uh, the two pound coin has to be the truth teller, and then whoever has the rest of the coins has to be the liar. And they take upon these characters. Then you ask them very silly questions. What trousers, what colour trousers are you wearing? What are they pink? You know, just crazy daft questions. And you can deduce from this um, their personalities. Once you deduce their personality, you can then easily tell whether someone's telling the truth or telling a lie. And that's the premise of the effect. And um, he goes into a lot of detail where it came from, his ideas, his thinkings on this. And, um, and I found it really, really interesting. I must say, a lot of it, even for me, I mean, I'm not a, a very logical thinker. Um, <laughs> I'm not very, um, how do I say it? I'm not very good with mind games and uh, crosswords and all this kind of thing. So it took me a little bit of a while just to, to get my head around all of this. Um, but once you do, it is phenomenal. Um, and I'm still not 100% there by any means, but I would certainly say um, if you're into your, uh, oh, what's the word for it? Yeah, if you're into algorithms, different techniques and different ways of of routing to find the answer, you can find yourself jazzing around his ideas very easily. Once you know the initial concept, there's lots of ways you can jazz around, create your own propolis mentalism with this as well. So this is definitely a highly recommended booklet, simple as that. I think it's got really good four or five star reviews everywhere else. Um, if you like your progressive anagrams and that kind of magic and something that really pushes you and challenges you uh, without being too challenging, then this is definitely for you. Um, the Strange Oblique retails at £25. It is on our website right now and it is a phenomenal booklet.
very well written. Uh, and of course, it's Mark Elsden, which means it's phenomenal. So there we go. Uh, Stranger Bleak, £25. I'm going to give this a rating out of 10, and I will give it a rating of 8.5 out of 10. There we go. Stranger Bleak, 8.5 out of 10. Boom. Go and get it right now. Okay, now we're going to go into a review of... Da, 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 Memento Mori cards. If there's a trailer for this, let's cut to it now. Say something. Say something clever. Context is everything. Let them feel it. Make them see it. But in the end, it doesn't make you better. Okay, we're back. Or if there was no trailer, I'm still here. Um, this is actually the first time I'm going to open these cards on camera for you guys right now. Um, I've seen people in the shop buy these and then open them up and I've seen the cards, so I know what they look like. Uh, Reese has done some great videos of this and uh, and he loves his cards here. So let's just open these up and have a, a little look. So, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's a different, well, it seems a different style tuck box, but that's just because I think it has no sticker on the top here. Um, I love the embossed box side of things. Very minimalistic on the on the edges here as well. And I love the way that it makes up the skull when you put the three decks of cards together. So when you buy this, you must buy three decks at a time. They are eight ninety nine. But I will. I think I'll, if you buy three decks or more, I'll give you some points off on the website just to make it worthwhile, bring you some money back. But hey, here we go. This is what. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna stand up. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you can still see my head. But you get one black and white one and. Hopefully there's no instructions at that website, because if there is, I'll have to delete that part out of the video. However, um, yes, you will have an online download section for it. Um, anyway, here we go. Here's a Memento Mori card. You get one black and white card with a web address on the back. You then get... Oh, they feel fantastic. They feel amazing. And what I love is what I'm seeing right now. I'll show it you from your angle. That's what you see there. All the colours, the crazy cool colours of the pips, I think is phenomenal. I think it's really different, unusual, um, and I love the purples and the mix and the sort of blends of those purples and blues. Um, so yeah, there we go, that's it. We have stemming from it telling you where it comes from here. And what other cards do we have? Ace of Hearts. Uh, we have a lovely unusual card here some pyramids and uh, then we have the ace of spades and the rest of them just go through the cards really nice you know there's a queen of queen of spades and the king i think it's really really nice so there we go that's the memento mori cards they really do handle very nicely um well made sharp edges they seem yeah they seem good they seem printed to that sort of tally ho quality that sort of bicycle very nice, uh, high standard quality that you would expect. Um, so yeah, that is the Memento Mori playing cards. I am certainly impressed with them, and that will be a deck of cards that I will be jamming with tonight. So uh, yeah, I would. Oh, and I love the way. Hey, there we go. Memento Mori printed on the top here. I think that's really good as well. So for eight pound ninety nine, these are. Um, I think it's a phenomenal deal. Um, and on our new website, you might even find that if you're ordering three or more of these, you might get it for ten, twenty, thirty pence cheaper. I'm not sure. Uh, we have a brand new website that was launched last week, and it's. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But there. We go Memento Mori decks. I'm gonna give them a rating out of 10, and they are gonna get they're gonna get another 8.5 out of 10. Boom! 8.5 out of 10 for the Chris Ramsey Memento Mori cards. They simply are beautiful. I love them. Wow! Okay, enough. 
And I'm really not just trying to sell these. I just love them. I think they're fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, let's just go on to now um, going talking through just some of the products that have come out in the last couple of weeks. Um, we've got some brand new products arriving in for review uh, tomorrow, I think it is. So I'm really, really excited. Can't wait. Um, and what we're going to be doing is shooting the reviews for those and uh, feeding them to you over a couple of weeks because I'm away from the 4th to the 10th of, till the 12th, sorry, of June performing abroad. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to shoot as much as I can and get them all to you, the latest effects. So the ones that people are talking about at the moment seem to be also the Union cards, Theory 11's Liberty Union cards. Um, these are really, really nice and uh, available on our website. I think they're about £8.50, £8.99, um, similar to the Mori cards as well. But the quality, oh, they feel fantastic. Totally different style to these, a totally different style, but I highly recommend them. What people are talking about on the internet, and I, I'm not just saying this because it's our effect, is also the Cypher deck. If you like Stranger Bleak by Mark Elsden, then you will love the Cypher deck. The Cypher deck is the world's first number deck, like a piatnik number deck that's marked in a very unusual fashion, uh, made to look so innocent in design. Um, but there we go, that's just a regular number deck. It comes with the instructions on the inside which lead you to an hour, oh sorry, a hundred minutes of video footage teaching you how to do many effects. Then it comes with a PDF by Mark Elsden as well, a booklet like this, and that will teach you another further seven tricks. And the great news is that we had some wonderful reviews on the internet for this product by, I think, Ning in the Singapore Magic Society. Um, that They gave it 10 out of 10. That's just crazy. But they gave it a 10. We never give things a 10, do we? But they gave it a 10 out of 10. For the amount of stuff you get on the on the videos, um, value for money for £25, the Cypher deck is a phenomenal buy and I think it's had about four or five other reviews all over the internet all saying how really good this is. So I would highly recommend the Cypher deck, especially if you're into mentalism, you want to do something different than playing cards, why not introduce numbers into it and use some unusual routines, but imagine they are marked in such a subtle and easy fashion that you can tell what the backs are instantly, even from a long way away. That's what I love about the cards. Uh, there we go. That is uh, the Cypher deck. Then also, I'm going to give it a quick plug, The Experiment by Vinny Sagu. Um, this one, again, uh, have received a wonderful review on the Ning. Ning, uh, what's it called? Ning Reviews or Ning Magic, that's the one. Um, and fantastic review again for The Experiment. Congratulations, Vinny Sagu. You did amazing with this. Uh, it's gone all over the world and... I think you'll find that it's one of those effects. It was even on the World Magic Shop review last week. And thank you guys for doing such a great review of this product and saying the fact that it is one of those tricks you can just put in your pocket and you can just do anytime, anywhere with very little setup, very little practice. <laughs> Although I always recommend practice, this is just one of those effects that will work itself. You can put it in your pocket and you will be doing it at your weddings, at your corporate events, and you'll be knocking them dead with it. So that's the experiment by Vinny Sagu. Um, other popular ones, I'll talk very briefly, would be The Priceless by Richard Sanders. This has been a phenomenal effect for us. We love it. Everyone else seems to love it. And uh, there we go. Priceless by Richard Sanders. That is definitely one of the top talkers and top sellers of the month. Also, my favourite still, even after all this time, is Build to Marker. Quite simply because I've started doing this at gigs and it is absolutely knocking people dead. Not literally, but uh, built to market, yes, it's £50, a little bit higher than the average price, but I would say for the reactions you get from this, um, it's worth every penny if you are a working magician. So um, get them from magicworld.co.uk today. Boom. Lastly, a special offer that we have on the website um, is going to be this. Flash paper, boom! I know we all use it all the time. We've got a very special offer of four sheets, large sheets, um, for only four pounds fifty. Those uh, that web that offer will be on both the Magic World as it is now and the new version of Magic World as well. Uh, we also have our new flash wall, which is fantastic. Uh, we're also going to do, I think, an offer online of if you buy a flash paper and a flash wall, you'll get them both for either seven or seven pounds fifty. So uh, you'll be getting that a lot cheaper if you buy them in the packs as well. So that is just a special offer. That that we are launching that will be on the Magic World websites. So there we go, it's the end of the review show. Almost, almost. So all I wanna say is, mm, that cup of tea is awesome. All I wanna say is, 
We did launch our new version of Magic World last week. Yes, we did. Uh, then we took it down very quickly. Why? Quite simply because some of the pricing on our website was jumping around. We, hello, parcel. I'll catch up with you in two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Yep, the old website we put live, then it started to have a few price problems. Uh, we realized some prices were way too cheap and some were way too expensive. Um, and we realized that it wasn't quite working as it should. Uh, even though we had fully tested it before we went live, we thought, I did that. Um, we thought, let's just hold off. We put the old one back live, waited for the developer to come back. It's all fixed now. And hopefully today, if just before this review show, our new website will be absolutely live again. So there we go. Our new website will be live, hopefully this afternoon before this review show comes live. And you'll see it's a full widescreen website, loads of frills and all sorts of uh, craziness. So uh, please do bear with us if there's a few little teething problems, but let us know what your thoughts are on the new website. Uh, you'll know if the new website's up, it's full screen right to the edge. Whereas right now we have a black, uh, black sides on each side and then the website in the middle. So the new one is right to the edge, fully responsive, works on all devices. So let us know what you think about it. It would be great to hear your thoughts. So thank you very much for watching the review show this week. I'm James Anthony and have a fantastic day. Bye bye. We bought our shop. It's still going through. The solicitors, we're so excited. Woo Let's hope it all comes off really well. But I think it will be uh, three to four months before we get in there, at least, because we've got to move house as well and move all of this shop. That's going to be a challenge. It's going to be fun, though. Woo -hoo.